Hey, good morning everybody. It's Brittany at Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida. So I wanted to start this morning with checking out this new tunnel for Moses and Bailey. So they have this awesome like shelving system. And then it takes them up to an opening. And then they have like a little mini tunnel here. And then there's these stairs and then it goes all the way up and over. And it's the same way over there. That is awesome. I can't wait to see them on it. I think they just had breakfast though, so. I haven't found Moses or Bailey yet, so I just wanted to come check out their their new system here. So good morning, everybody. Hi, Natalie. Hi, Noor. Hi, Deb. Hi, Melissa. We're searching for some bobcats. And so this was actually their old tunnel. They've had this for a really, really long time. And uh, where I'm standing used to be the entrance to the sanctuary when you'd come on a guided tour. Um, but we had Hurricane Irma and it caused a tree to go down and some other issues so they replaced the fencing and took the door away and wrapped it around on the other side so hi Casey hi Kim we're still searching for some bobcats maybe they're all all the way oh there's a bobcat face hi hi Moses where's Bailey have you used your new tunnel yet have you used that new tunnel yet, sir? Good morning, Bella. Good morning, Elizabeth. Hi, Belinda. Oh, if you have a black screen, you might wanna go out and come back. Thank you so much for the donation, Ashley, and good morning. Good morning, Tina. Hi, Madeline. Good morning, Sherry. You see that little bobcat tail in there? That is Moses Bobcat. Oh my, good morning, Caitlin. Good morning, Trish. Hi, Debbie. Hey, Andy. Happy Monday morning to all of you. Hey, Jessica. <laughs> Moses, you should come show everybody your adorable face. Where's, uh, where's Bales? Where's Bales? Where's Miss Bailey? Good morning, Greg. Hi, Elaine. We just got started. I was just showing everybody Moses and Bailey's new tunnel. Good morning, Nancy. Hi, Vicki. Good morning, Patricia. Alright, well, let's go see if we can find more of a bobcat than just a tail, <laughs> even though that is like the best part of them. So if you joined in late and you didn't see their tunnel system, this is what I showed earlier. It's really awesome. I think Bailey prefers it. Thank you, Teresa, for the donation. I think Bailey really prefers the... Uh, other enclosure that after she came back out from the recovery hospital she seems to really like that section over there so let's go see if we can find her real quick well I see some food in the lockout so that tells me that she's she was over here this morning she's been a little picky to eat I think she got used to being hand fed by the meds keepers. Yeah, she's probably in that den. Bailey! Bailey Bob, you better come get this food. You better go get that food. Yeah, they did an incredible job. I can't believe they cranked this thing out as quick as they did, but they basically dedicated like three whole days 
to building this, which was really awesome. Hi, Mary. Thank you so much, Shelly, for your donation. All right, well, let's go see what other bobcats we can see. We're kind of in the bobcat section. I don't know about you guys, but I like to start my Monday with a bobcat tour. <laughs> And since it's early and it's nice and cool here, we're in Tampa, Florida. It's been unbearably, brutally hot. Oh, there goes Filmo up his tree. Filmo, where are you going? <laughs> and uh, this morning though, it's actually more of a, I think it's about 76 with no humidity. So that's fantastic. Feels awesome out right now. Where are you going, bud bud? Hi. You just stay there for just a minute so we can see how cute you are. Huh? Hi. Oh my goodness, that's fierce. You're so fierce, Filmo. And there he goes to his favorite spot. Loves that branch. You love that branch. Oh my goodness, so fierce. So fierce. So he also has some really cool little stair steppies here. helps him get all the way up there. He used to just scale the tree when he first got in here and we were like, oh no, that's, that's not gonna do. <laughs> You're so silly. All right, we'll leave you be. We'll leave you be. So they built those and I've been trying to hint around slash beg <laughs> for us to do something cool for Smalls and her big giant tree. There's Shiloh up on his platform. I can, I think I can walk around and get a better view of Shiloh. She has this huge, huge giant tree with kind of a, a hall, hollowed out like center area, but that enclosure used to house the New York servals and they were a lot older and we did not want them climbing to the point where they would get in that tree or get stuck or get hurt. But she has claws and I think that she'd be fine with it. So I'm hoping we can renovate. Hi Shiloh. Look at that cute boy. Look at that cute boy. So handsome. So handsomes. I figured you'd be back in that corner where you like to roll around. He has a little section in the back bubble of his enclosure and I swear it's like there used to be a spice bag there or maybe somebody throws loose spice but he gets so rolly and rubby and drooly and just loves rolling around on something back there. Oh my! Oh, we're gonna come down and say hi. That's cool. Hi, mister. Thank you, boy. Hi. Gonna go do bobcat things now. He has such a pretty enclosure too. See where he's gonna go. Oh, up front to make sure that those carts that are rattling didn't bring any extras back. Did they bring you something? I think they had already given you yours, bud. Wishful thinking though. Look how long your bobcat tail is. You got a very long tail. He's a very big bobcat though, so that makes sense. All right, bye. I'm gonna see if he made it into that back bubble. It's just so cute. Nope. Still watching the cart. Hoping there's extras. 
hoping somebody didn't eat and there'd be extras, but little does he know we can't do that. Even if a cat does refuse the diet, we don't just turn around and feed it to another cat. If it ever goes in the cage or has been presented to a cat and they don't want it, we don't feed it out to anybody else, just, just as a precaution. Keeper, Gina. So he's very interested to find out if she's got extras. Yeah, I wa we watched him go up there. <laughs> he gave me a nice snarl. <laughs> Shiloh! Sorry, bub. Yes, I knew you were going to get rolly. Of course, it's very hard to see because of this palm right here. He loves showing his belly. Oh, he loves showing his belly. <laughs> Did you get it? Did you kill that fern? Cynthia. Good morning, Courtney. Isn't he adorable? Hey, Sue. Told you guys, he just loves, there's something that, I, maybe there's some kind of something that he smells that grows back here in this particular section because he'll do it over here where he's at and then he'll do it way back in the far corner that you can't quite see from here. <laughs> Surprise attacking, climbing my tree. <laughs> he climbs his tree up to his platform. <laughs> We're getting some Shiloh zoomies today. Oh my. <laughs> his last little surprise leap. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Shiloh, that was too much. Too much cute. Oh, thank you very much, Debbie. I appreciate that. Yeah, I've never gotten to capture Shiloh zoomies. I've seen Filmo do it. We know Smalls will do it. Oh, Bailey Bobcat is out in her lockout eating her food. So that's great. I think just because they had to net her and catch her and take her into the recovery hospital, she, and she's a very standoffish, fierce Bobcat. I just think it's gonna take her extra time to forgive and forget <laughs> so lately she hasn't been wanting to eat while the feeders are still out they really have to give her a lot of extra time and then she'll go eat so but that's what we do we try to make sure we figure out exactly what each cat needs and no matter how many trips out to the enclosure during the day we have to make we do it oh there he goes he's running to the back again Running over to see if he can see Bailey. <laughs> That's so sweet. We will not walk back towards Bailey just because I don't want to freak her out. All right, let's see if there's a Gilligan or a Pharaoh. Of course, Pharaoh's probably going to get breakfast here real soon. Oh, 
I do see a Frankie in the background. Yesterday was Frankie's two year rescue anniversary. He's very one track mine in the morning though. Hi Gilligan. You just did a flop right back there? Oh boy, silly. Silliest boy. Have you gotten Smalls used to that yet? Does she know what to think when you do that? So silly. Gilligan's a Canada Lynx. We've been practicing our communication skills for a while. <laughs> It's never any less exciting. Oh, hi, princess. Did you run right into lockout to say hi? Hi, baby girl. This is Smalls. Are you purring? Hi, pumpkin. Yeah. So you're purring and he's hooing. Oh, I am definitely in my happy place. Definitely in my happy place. Hi, mister. You know it's Monday, right? So we're gonna do operant later? Yeah, you gonna come over for treats? That'd be pretty awesome. Sorry guys, I can't, I don't wanna sneak up behind him or walk behind him, but the way the cage wire curves like that, I can't really show you his a beautiful face without spooking him to get around him, so. Gilly! You're so handsome. I'm glad to see you out and about doing Lynx things. Smalls, what's new? Did you find anything new that you liked over here? Have you found a new area yet? No, I don't want that. I don't want that. Cutest tail in the world. You and Gilligan becoming friends? That's wonderful. That's wonderful. Yeah. Where are we going? I know I'm following. Wherever you want to go. Wherever you want to go. Let's go this way. Show me what you've been doing. Oh, I see a big bag right there. That looks like you had fun with that bag. Yeah. Are we parents? Let's go this way. <laughs> oh my. Have you gotten up on that platform lately? This is the tree I was referring to. So you can see how it's been caged in at the top so that the older cats weren't climbing the tree and getting themselves hurt. But I'm hoping we could like raise that up a few feet or build her something really cool. Someday. Someday, maybe, now that I know you're comfortable over here. Because she can walk under it and she can get to the base of it. But if you see, there's like a nice little inlet there. Oh, she's going to get a drink of water, I think. Or check and see if there's more food. Is there more food in there for you? It's a feeding lock out there. So she doesn't have access to like this part of the tree, which I think would be kind of fun to build some shelves for her. But you know, it all takes time and money. And right now <laughs> that, all of that is precious. So we'll see, she's got a ton of space. Baby girl. Oh, I wouldn't be sad for her nor. Look how much bigger this tree stump is than the one she had. She did done what she could do with that tree stump. That's for sure. That one was Dunsies, wasn't it? 
Now you got this one. She's like, but I want to climb up there. I saw Jamie come over and take a photo of the tree one day, so I was like real hopeful it's because they want to build her something. <laughs> she's six years old, so I feel like she's got, she's got her climbing days ahead of her still. Yeah. Um, nope, that's the, actually the largest tree that she has in here other than this hibiscus right here, which she has smashed up a little bit. I'm gonna have to bring you a new bag. That one's soggy. You eating grass? go see your across the street neighbors. We'll just make it a bobcat morning. Well, bobcat and lynx. I mean, my goodness. Gilligan's just so fantastic. Oh my gills. That was pretty fun. <laughs> Usually I have to hoo at him for a couple of minutes and then after I start to leave, I'll start hearing him hoo back. It's, that's only, I think, the second time in my five years out here where I, it's the first time I've hooed at him, he just immediately hooed back. So that just, that just made my whole day. That's very fun. All right, sweetheart. I'll see you later, okay? You know I can't come do Operant with Gil again without seeing you, so. She's technically not my Operant cat anymore, but I still keep up the skill with her. So we don't do it every single time, but I do it pretty, pretty often compared to others. Um, Ashley, that's a great question. The difference between a bobcat and a lynx. So they are actually related. They're basically cousins. Um, so if you looked at Gil again, I know I didn't get you guys a very good view of him. The best way to tell, especially if you see them in the wild, is from their tail. They both have that short kind of bobbed tail. However, the bobcat tail has white under it, whereas the lynx tail looks like it's been dipped in ink. So it's like black all the way around. The other uh, thing is not necessarily for northern bobcats, I guess, because they do have longer ear tufts sometimes, but lynx tend to have um, a little bit longer of the ear tufts on top of their ears whereas you'll see if we get flint over here and even smalls she didn't have very big ear tufts but lynx are very very northern much colder regions whereas bobcats can be found all over we have them here in florida they're just much smaller and spotted Oh, there's the Flintster. We'll see if we can catch a glimpse of Kelowna and Dryden, but. <gasps> Hi, Flint. Hi, mister. Hi, cute boy. Hi, cute boy. You and those long legs. Thank you, Laura, for the donation. Flint. So you can see the white under the bobcat tail. A lynx wouldn't have that. Lynx are also generally larger, but there are some pretty big bobcats. So again, that's kind of your sure sign. Where are you going? Oh. <laughs> He's like, oh, I forgot I left this bag over here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Did you leave your bag all the way over there? You gonna let me come see it or are you gonna just zoom away? I think we're in the zoomy mode right now. Are we zooming? You better come get this bag. You better get this bag. You better come get this bag again. 
Purring up a storm. Purring up a storm. Well, if you arrived late, you missed Moses and Bailey, Shiloh, Filmo, a Gilligan who, a Smalls, but you can rewatch all of those. As soon as this live feed ends, it'll post automatically on our Facebook page. And it's also gonna go over to dailybigcat.com. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, buddy. I've been missing you. I really don't get to come see you as often. Yeah, look at that belly. Are you gonna zoom? Your ears are back. Your ears are back. Oh, so I'm really excited. I don't know if Natalie's still on here, but I've been talking back and forth with Natalie, who has been doing a ton of our uh, designs for the last year and a half. Um, I had told her that one of my biggest goals when I got hired here as a staff member was that I really wanted every single cat here to have a design in our shop. And she has just worked tirelessly. <laughs> Every time I'm like sending her one of my crazy ideas or just a random thought, I went through the stores and I wrote down all of the cats that either don't have like a newer or like more modern design, uh, like recent to the last year or so. Well, no Kelona in there. And... I wrote down and there's like less than 10 or 15 left that just really don't have a lot of designs or anything that we have for them to sell in the gift shop. So she sent me an aerial design yesterday. So I'm really excited to get that on the stores. This is Dryden. Hi, mister. Why, what are you doing crouched up there? Is that fun? Oh, I see why Nabisco's on his platform over there. Well, if you're over here, then that means little girl is gonna be over here, but something tells me she's in the really big den and there's no way for me to show you that. So, at least so I can say I tried since I've seen I think it's Dawn asking over and over and over again to see Kelona, but I don't know that we'll get that chance today, because if she's in this den, it just is like a black hole in there. Kelona! She would be right in there. <laughs> Kelona! No. Only other option would be up in the front corner. She's actually very good at hiding in plain sight. She's not on this den. She's taken a f some photos of her where she's down in between those ferns and that little hole right there, but not there today. Dryden, where's your girl? Where's your girl? They're still separated after feeding time, so yeah, she is not up here. Usually she'll be hiding behind one of these stumps. It's the only other option, so Sorry guys, you guys just get a view of Dryden. He's so handsome though. Look how handsome that boy is. He's looking up his ramp because he really wants to go back over with her. But the feeders have to make sure that they both ate their share of food before they can go back together. So we never want them to feel like they have to fight or compete. Maybe I'll try to get some new GoPro footage of Kelona because I have really good luck getting her to just walk right over to me um, in the evenings for operant. All right, bud. Let's 
go see a biscuit. Let's go see a biscuit. Hi. <laughs> oh boy. Hi, Bisque. Hi. My face is up here. I know, my shoes are down there, but my face is up here. Hi. Hi, cuteness. You got your summer coat going. Oh my. Nabisco and Smalls both kind of freak me out when it gets summertime here in Florida because they just get, they look like they get so thin, but it's just because they're so fluffy in the winter. Have you been clawing that or was that a cat previously? Is that you? Either Biscuit has shredded that or... Of course, cougars haven't lived in this enclosure for a long time. Oh, we're gonna chew on a stick. Did that fall from one of the storms? We know that Nabisco is prone to seizures and that he might have some kind of, you know, neurological uh, issue from when he was a baby. And so I was the first one assigned to him as an operant trainer and worked with him for two solid years. And the hardest thing to do was just to get him to not make eye contact because we don't really make a lot of eye contact with the cats, but it was just to look at me or my hands or the stick with the treat on it because he just stares at the ground. Um, we like to joke that it's, you know, he's staring at the feet and of course he'll chase your legs and your feet, but that was the hardest thing um, actually to break him of. And now he will look up, but I sort of wonder if how his eyesight is or um, you know, that kind of thing, because he just reacts way differently than most other cats. He's very special. A very special boy. But I'm so excited because um, two of my cats that I've been working with for years are now officially good enough at operant conditioning to be training cats. So Smalls is a training cat. Of course, she's still very choosy on who she'll come over and work with. Not everyone gets treated <laughs> fairly with her, but Nabisco, we just officially had an operant meeting yesterday and now we have made Nabisco an operant training cat. So I'm like super proud mama right now. You want that stick too? You have a giant stick in your cage. <laughs> oh boy. What'd you find? What'd you find? Must be something good right there. Yep, I'm super proud mama of you, Biscuit. You just gotta keep those hands to yourself. That's the biggest issue with a lot of the bobcats is they like to swipe or strike or try to grab at the meat with their claws instead of their face. <laughs> and uh, he can be very reachy and grabby, but I've definitely broken him of that habit. He just has to keep it up for other people, so. I'll still check in with him from time to time. Oh, I'm going into my den. I was hoping that maybe Kilona would creep out while I was over here, but nope. I don't see her. Do you come sneaking back? Okay. with this ball. Do 
you come sneaking back out? Play with that ball. He's like, I want Dryden to come over and say hi. Yeah. All right, handsome. All right, handsome. not super close to breezy but we can walk over there I was just thinking I'm like I want one more bobcat to show and then we'll be wrapping this up for today I'm having an issue with the scheduler that I use for Instagram it just like will not connect to our account and they keep trying to tell me someone's hijacking our account because the app we use is based in Australia and <laughs> just a giant mess so I have a zoom meeting about that in a little bit. Hopefully we'll get it figured out. So today has been all bobcats and one lynx. So you can rewatch at Daily Big Cat. Thank you so much to the four of you that donated today. Really appreciate that. Oh, you know who else we should try to see if he's in here? It's Running Bear. We know that Running Bear had a dental procedure last week. And yesterday he was in a really great spot in that den. Oh, he's right here. He's just out snoozing. This is running bear. I don't want to scare him. He is sacked out. He's already had breakfast, but he's doing really well back outside. He's eating, taking his meds, enjoying sickles again. So it's bear bear. Oh no, he woke up, so I don't want to scare him. Bear Bear! He doesn't hear very well. Your little back feet are super wet. Your back feet are super wet, Bear Bear. Check in with him so you see that he's outside doing well. He's so handsome. Yesterday we had one of our typical growly, grumbly conversations when Catherine and I came back around after the feeding tour to check on like Sue and Lakota and everybody we had fed. He was out being a sweet boy with all those zombie noises. All right, let's look for Breezy. check her typical places there she is grooming it's grooming time there's no medical Monday today as far as I've been told this is breezy Bobcat she is very, very much grooming after breakfast. <laughs> and I know people have been messaging me and Deb and other people about my stabilizer. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what's happening with it. It's definitely on its way out, I think, because um, it can charge for an entire day and then it still takes like five or six tries for it to turn on correctly. So I don't know what's going on with that, but it has been working today so far. I'm wondering if it overheats, if it becomes useless too. Like I can't do back-to-back -back lives and it worked correctly the second time. So I don't know, we'll keep an eye on it, but thank you to everybody offering to help pitch in for a new one, but I'll talk with Carol and maybe we have an extra around already, so we'll see. She is on a mission. Grooming mission. Ellen, I agree. It was great to see Catherine. I even myself really haven't gotten to see her much. And, and Catherine's one of the keepers that taught me like most of what I know out here. <laughs> she was always a trainer or my coordinator and then my ops manager. So it's been a long time since I've gotten to just walk around and talk about the cats with her. So that was really fun. Hi, Breezy. 
I know. See, I know you're there, but I'm gonna ignore you because I'm a cat. I'm a cat. Oh, hi! Hi, honey buds. Oh, we're gonna get close and I'm zoomed in. Okay. Hi, sweet girl. Hi, honey. This is Breezy. Breeze Bear. Got Breeze Bear and Bear Bear. All oh, the bears. Isn't she beautiful? She is our second oldest cat on property. Amanda Tiger is 24 years old and Miss Breezy Bobcat is 24 years old. Just a couple months behind or about half a year behind, I guess. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. It was an awesome Bobcat Monday. If you want to rewatch this, go to dailybigcat.com or right there on our Facebook page. And again, thank you for all of the shares, all of the helping out in the comments and sharing links and communicating with people. Hi, sugar. I've told several people, if, if I don't accomplish anything else in life, just helping people fall in love with bobcats is like good enough for me. So thank you guys for joining me today. And I will, hopefully, maybe I'll get to see some of you on Instagram later. But otherwise, I hope to see you guys uh, tomorrow. So thank you guys.